here at the Rogue Warriors Training Compound. Check out their YouTube channel. And uh, we're gonna get going to some empty hand street fighting self-defense that you're gonna be able to win any street fight with. All right, so the first attack, first opponent was coming in for the shove. We're gonna break this right away, slap him in the ear, elbow him in the face, give him a final knee, and throw him out. All right, let's show that one more time. He goes into push. We stop this and we slap him right away. This is loading up for the elbow. Bang, elbow right to the face. Give him the knee and toss him from the neck. All right, the second attack was at Haymaker. So as he's coming out, we step in, boom, hit him. Hit him with the elbow, step through, and give him a toss. Not quite like the judo throw, you're gonna cut the angle from the Dumog system. All right, you can give him a kick or escape. Let's take one more look at that. Stop the haymaker, hack him, elbow him, come around, give him a throw, and then escape. And then the last attack was that round kick, your opponent's trying to deaden your leg. So he comes out, we go, Boom, into the knee destruction. Hit, hit. Once you catch this, go into the clock throw, arm to 12 o'clock, head to six o'clock, and dump the body. From there, you can go into follow-ups or escape. Boom, knee destruction. Hit, hit. Once you're here, dump the head, and you're good. All right, if you have some good training partners, it's a good idea to train these all as almost as if it was multiple opponents, right? Just like this. So the first attack comes in. Boom, slap, elbow, knee, get rid of them. Next attack, right here, one, two. Boom, and the third attack, bang, boom, boom. Boom, and then you're gone. All right, so these are three common attacks. Practice these moves, right, we're covering the push, the haymaker, and that kick. And we have more street fighting attacks that are very common that we're going to be making videos off of. Obviously, there's so many techniques. Have fun with it. Be playful in your training. And again, that most important thing is fun in your training. Once your martial arts stops being fun, it's time to get a new hobby. And if you have good training partners like my man Joe, my man Ali, make sure that you thank them every day for training with you. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment below, hit the subscribe button, show us the love here at the Collie Center. We really appreciate your support and uh, hang out with us over on Facebook and Instagram, both at the Collie Center and sign on up to our online school over at colliecenter.com. Right, and uh, we'll see you guys next time in the next video. Thanks guys.